Swole Binji here. Welcome to the Cyberpunk Let's Play series where I'm going to show off this game on max possible settings and with commentary because I know you guys want to hear me talk. So let me just go over a few things real quickly. Um, graphics are going to, I'm going to have all of this stuff off because it makes the game look ugly as heck. No one wants motion blur, no one wants any of this stuff, right? But everything else is completely maxed out, just look at it. It goes beyond ultra to psycho. And we have all of the ray tracing maxed out, DLSS is automatic. These aren't needed to be on, alright? It's going to be in English. So let's go over the game. Here's how it's going to work, I'm going to play it on normal. And canonically, a lot of people are saying that Street Kid is the canonical way of the story, right? A lot of YouTubers are playing Corpo. For me, I believe that Nomad is the technical, true, canonical way to play. I've played through all of them, and I'm going to be picking Nomad. Only because I believe that it offers the most story-wise. Street Kid... You're already familiar with Night City. Your character grew up in the city, so he just he or she knows everybody in the in the town in the game, and it, it just it's like you don't feel like you're new to the city, right? Corpo is you have the fewest choices that change dialogue, and it, it's a very boring playstyle. There's really no reason to ever pick Corpo except for the. A uh, very well presented intro and that's it now as far as nomad goes you get an extra car you get extra missions that you don't get a street kid you get more items and your character is more handy and just all around a better bro character and that's why i believe that nomad is the proper playstyle for this game now for the the way this game is going to work or this this let's play is going to work is as soon as i hit act one which is when we get to v's apartment I'm going to load a save where I grinded for about 30 hours to have a very powerful character. So I'm just going to skip the character creator. I've already created the character in the save file that we're going to start the game with. And uh, now as far as male or female, canonically, when they made this game, they started with female. And if you've played through the game, you'll notice that there's some dialogue choices that don't make sense if you're a guy. They just don't make any sense because they never coded or scripted the difference if you play a male character. So for those that don't know, the male V's name is Vincent and the female's is Valerie. So we're going to be playing as Valerie. And I'm not just like making up some V name. That's canonically their actual character names, okay? So I'm just going to pick the preset here because it doesn't matter. And the stats don't matter. So I'm not going to put anything to any stats. Because again, we have a save file that we're, we're going to be using as soon as we hit Act 1. And I'm going to present this game as cinematically best as possible. That means I'm going to be zooming in the camera to faces, maintaining eye contact with characters, and all sorts of other fun goodies. I also won't be talking during cutscenes or giving my two cents until it's appropriate. I also will not be skipping dialogue, so... This is a cinematic let's play. This is not how our character will be looking. Uh, she's gonna be more pale, black hair, more beautiful. <laughs> Electric coupling module. Said it was nothing serious when I came in. You said you were sure. So for those that I can always look for another shop where they won't ask a lone nomad while she's hugging the border. So for those that don't know, uh, biker gangs tend to have patches on their, you know, like leathery ch chests, right? And uh, she just tore hers off, which means she's no longer in that biker gang. That's fine. Step aside. What? Got any idea what to do? Mm. I'm gonna bypass the coupling and rig a hot wire. Press will run on and on. Could seize up.
We're going to be doing minimalist choices, okay. by the way. Questions how long it'll last you. It'll get me to Night City. I'll figure something else out there. Right. So doable? Sure was. Satisfy seen that. Not a solid fix. Might as well have used spit and duct tape. It worked. That's what matters. Mm. Antenna on this heap don't seem like it packs a punch. Not liable to hear much. You don't say. Hey, Mike. Didn't know you had a customer. Uh, rolled in a, a few hours past. I, I thought she'd at least called in to you. Don't you sweat it, Mike. We're gonna hash it out. Don't you know you owe the sheriff a word when you pay his town a visit? To tell him what's brought you here. Maybe even over a cup of coffee. No need to worry. I won't be staying long. Didn't answer my question now, did you? Name's Andrew Jones. Probably heard of me. I can't say that I have. Served in spec ops during the last war. Silver showguns? Ring any bells? I can't say that it does. Don't like to get along, do ya? That a nomad vehicle? Might have expected that. I'll just fix it up and go. I have no reason to linger. <sighs> nope. You sure shit don't. Nothing boils my blood like a fucking stray. Where'd your clan pitch camp? There's no clan. There's no camp. I'm here alone. I ain't buying it. Nomads always stick to their packs. My family's in pieces. That's why I'm headed for Night City. Makes you an outcast among outcasts. Sure as hell hope you'll be on your way before long. I saw a broadcast in comms tower on my way in. My antenna's down and I need to radio something. What you need's to hightail it out of here without another word. Ain't got no mind to see you drifting around these parts. Got it? I've made it clear. I don't want any trouble. Then stop looking for it and hit the road. All right, so a few more details about the playthrough. <laughs> We're doing a full homicide playthrough where we just kill everyone and everything. We're also going for the solo ending, so we won't be bothering to do any of the side stuff. So we're just doing the main missions generally as efficiently as possible. And again, I will try to... What the hell? What did I drop? I'm going to make this as cinematic as possible for you guys. Um, I don't know why the character dropped <laughs> on the ladder there, but... Also, the choices, you're seeing a lot of choices pop up. For those that haven't played the game or seen the game, the yellow choices advance the story, the blue choices are just uh, gossip and uh, blank Hello? dialogue. Come in. Come in. Ah, raised you finally. Willie McCoy, it's good to hear your voice. Fee, wish I could say the same. I need your help. One last time. One last time. Again? I have to find the client with my payload, but I, I don't know where he is. Hmm. Right place, right time. You were there? Of course I was. Maybe the client left a message. Could you check for me? Hmm. Sure. Last time, though. I mean it. Client's name? Jackie Wells. Huh. Actually left a message. He's waiting on a farm. Clicking you the geolog data. Thanks, Willie. I owe you one. You do. Just don't get yourself killed. And don't call again.
Do a little parkour, get down faster. But this game is notorious for killing you for dropping just a few feet, so you want to be a little bit careful when parkouring around. Like, if you just fall wrong, the game thinks you hit terminal velocity and will kill you. Ah, the trailer. Oh, I was worried I'd have to turn to farming. <laughs> yeah, I sure hope you're here for me. I believe I am. Are you... Name's Jackie Wells. V. Seems you have cargo that needs to be moved. Oh, where I'm from, you share a bit about your soul before you talk biz. Eh? It's kind of like a custom. Or just good manners, you know? Why don't we start with you, then? NC native, right here. Got Haywood in my blood. I've never been to NC. That doesn't mean much to me. So, imagine a place where everyone's like your bro or sis. Or a distant cousin, at least. <laughs> I think I understand. You don't have to like each other, but it's family. That's Haywood. That and everyone's back in iron. And you? I guess you could say I'm from my own Haywood. You and me, we're gonna get along fine cargo. Let's load it in the car. Oh, well. That is improper lifting. You're gonna hurt your back, bro. Started thinking you might not come. I got held up. And you weren't exactly easy to find. I decided to lay low, you know? The sheriff he looked like one grouchy motherfucker. Yep. So, you'll notice there was an item here, right? Picking these up doesn't matter because we have a safe file ready for us. That's why I'm not picking things up. In case you're curious. The handling is extremely sluggish on this vehicle. Do you have the manifest from the transport? Of course I do. The fixer didn't give you the job deeds? He... he did. I was just making sure. Listen, friend. We're both professionals, ain't we? Hey. You, uh, sure you've moved contraband before? Why? Are you nervous? Me? <laughs> ah, por favor. Well, uh, maybe a little. up ahead. What now? Nothing. They'll scan us and check our papers. <sighs> okay. I'll do the talking. Please direct your vehicle to the inspection area. No, it won't let me run him over. The security check will begin shortly. I got a real bad feeling about this. Hand me the manifest. They'll need to see it. Grab these. Let me see. Ah, it's marked LOA. Perfect. What's that mean? Lost on arrival. Means the cargo was flagged as to be lost as soon as it crossed the border. Oh, so they know we're smuggling. Well, they're about to find out. The owner of the vehicle in the inspection area will report for further questioning. <sighs> Chingana madre. What now? If we want the customs officer to turn a blind eye to our dubious docks, we'll need a sweetener. Do you have the credit chip with the bribe? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. Right. 
You forgot. I'll keep the engine running. In case of a cock -up. Do that. If you're armed, place your weapon here. Hey, friend. You good? Now, please report to room number two. Please sit. Papers. Is this routine? It might be. We'll see. Hmm. What are you transporting? It's all in there. Everything? There's one additional enclosure to the manifest. Ah, yes. Remind me, you drive for which Nomad Clan? I don't think that's any concern of yours. Is that what you believe? You know, whenever I see someone like you, I'm oh so grateful not to be on that side of the table. The feeling's mutual. Go on now. Your associate's waiting for you in the car. Don't forget to take your personal items. Be careful with that toy. And welcome to Night City. Those little shits imagine Night City is some kind of paradise. What can you do? Young, naive. What I'm happened just in there? I'll tell night. you soon. You need to get out of here. Yeah, okay. You gonna tell me what happened back there? A customs dickhead got nitpicky. And that ain't normal? Not to that extent. Smelling trouble around the bend? Drive, Jackie, just drive. Someone's coming our way. This does not look good. Stop your vehicle immediately. Let's get out of here. On it. You are transporting contraband that is corporate property. I repeat, stop the car. Dear. So you may be thinking, shoot the driver, right? Nah, the car blows up regardless. Up here. Place looks deserted. I'm gonna stop here. Need to sort out a few things before we go on. Fucking hell. Hijo de la chingada madre! They almost tagged our asses. That what you call smuggling? Gado! Was supposed to go smooth. 
No problems! If you think this is my fault, at least have the balls to say so. I don't know yet. Is it? Border security tipped off the corporation that we have their cargo. What's the deal with these borderlies flipping us the finger as they fucking please? With no consequences! He took a risk. He assumed we didn't have a clan backing us, and he was right. <sighs> so what now? We've crossed the border. Now you pay me, and we go our separate ways. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a bit light. I can't pay you now. I have something for you once I collect my scrap for this corporal crap we're carrying. Oh, and you just figured I would sit by patiently? Actually, I wasn't gonna pay you at all. I was just gonna bust ass and disappear as soon as we crossed over, but... You're all right. You tricked me. Oh, well, apologies for offending the spotless moral code of a smuggler. So what's next? Now we take a peek inside. Open it. Oh, shit. Says Arasaka on the crate. We are robbing some heavy hitters. And maybe we'll make some heavy money. Mamis, a real iguana. A, uh, lesser Antillian, I think. Think you can make some money on it? Sure. Think it'll make us happy. Us? Yeah, partner. We'll go half season. Any decent fixer will find a loaded gunk interested in a rare gem like this. It's kind of a shame, though. I always wanted a pet. Got the name Manny all thought out. Hey, by the way, you, uh, got any plans for what you'll be doing in Night City? I don't have any plans. I spent the last years traveling between states with my nomad family. I'll probably be waiting for you somewhere, eh? No. We decided to go our separate ways. That must be tough, huh? I have no one to go back to. But don't you worry. Let me help you find Diggs. You gotta live somewhere. It's important to have people you can turn to. You know, like, uh, family. Maybe you'll find your own down in Night City. So I just want to interject here and mention that out of all the life paths, this one makes the least amount of sense for Jackie and V to be friends. Because he basically said... Gonna be long? That he would just betray her and he doesn't give a shit. But now he just suddenly wants to be friends? Like, that's not friendship material. It'd be like, fuck this guy. Just fucking pop a cap in his head, take the iguana, and bolt. Anyway, the other life paths, it makes more sense to be friends with Jackie, but this one doesn't, and because of that, we're not going to be Hello. treating Jackie very nice at all in this playthrough. Which will alter the ending a bit, and that's fine with me. I'm not really concerned about that. So, this is the start of the uh, life path now it's going to cut to a montage of what they do afterwards which is the same for all life paths thanks much appreciated hey come on it's nothing they got chemistry you and me be a crying shame to waste it partner hey oh cuddly little fucker okay partner time to grab the lizard and scurry out of here in this city of dreams. Ooh, I love this town. Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her. Every new day here means a hundred new arrivals, but only half these gods will survive a year, and that's if it's a good one. And why do these peeps come to NC? Well, to be street samurai like Morgan, Black Hand, and Waylon Okay, kids, or so they say, but you can only be a major league player for so long. The faster you live, the faster you burn out. If you don't get a bullet to the brain first. NC's legends, know where you'll find most of them? The graveyard. Matters not where you're 
you're from matters not where you start. What matters here is the walk you walk. In Night City, the city of dreams. I feel like all of that is cut content from the game. Like, that should have been playable. A montage like that is dumb. It should also give you the experience that your character had throughout all of that. The chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? Not now, Jack. No time. Maybe later. Sure, sure. Mañana. Mañana. Let's do this. Alright, so doing the tutorial will introduce you to the character T-Bug. This way. And T-Bug is basically your on-call helper, like most games have. V. Again, we're not picking up items because I have a save file already ready with all sorts of fun things. So there's no need for me to loot or meta game or any of that kind of stuff. So we can keep it cinematic. Hello game. Targets Sandra Dorset. Targets Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Bug. Could at least try to be... nice. You want nice, supportive? Call a damn helpline. Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo immunity. Our girl's top shelf. Mira, eyes up. Then the hell's I hid. Quiet, By doing that, you don't get any loot from that kill, by the way, so it's not really advised if you're playing the game. Target. Look around. Gotta be there Jesus somewhere. Fucking Christ. I think I got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? I have to find out. V, Jack into our biomod. Need to know what we're dealing with. Jacking in. <sighs> this does not look good. Sandra Dorset, NC570442. Trauma Team Platinum. Platinum? 
Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural cord. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomon. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomon. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon Cleave's trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. B, need to know Jackie what's going on. Hypo. Fuck, this is bad. Catch, Chica! I think... Holy shit, it worked! Fuera, Chica! Get her outside! By the way, for YouTube, um, I have nudity off, so normally she, uh, has no bra on. Fuera, get her out! Terrace! And uh, the trauma team that you're about to see, uh, in the game, they are level 50 uh, characters that you can PvP against if you want. You step forward, they will tase you. Here, I'll show you. So I'm gonna walk at them. CT 133 to control. Patient NC 570442 secure. Stimulants being administered. 70 milligrams dopamine. 110 norepinephrine. 800 for energy. In my first playthrough, before the patches, he walked Shit through these over. lockers, which is interesting because there was stuff inside. In the near future. Listen, Chica, I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Huh. I got a day with Missy, but... Yeah, there we go. How's it gonna look for me? Won't leave you hanging, Jack. But don't get used to it. Saving my ass, V. Thank you. How about I drive you home, huh? She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako in the hollow. Tell her the job's done. <clears throat> v, how did it go? Our client is alive and well. Of course she's alive and well. What we agreed, isn't it? Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, give it right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Words out the NCPD is gonna put Watson on lockdown. If I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put it in fifth. Leave it to me, Chica. I'm driving. <laughs> it's sad that you can't vault across the car, like in a cool, you know, like hip slide. I swear that was in the previews. I have no control over the radio. 
I do have copyrighted music turned off. Fun fact, this rain is pre-rendered. City like any other. Just bigger. Ah, oh, Chica. Not just any other city. Working Black Hand. Andrew Wayland. Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. Starving. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie, they're locking down Watson, remember? Who says that? Oh, shit. Right. You'll notice they drop loot. <laughs> if you're quick, you can actually mash F and pick up the loot. You'll say to uh, kill the driver, which is not correct. Because that happens anyway. Your baby up pretty bad. Sorry, D. It's okay. Let's just focus on getting home. So, I like how the bullet holes in the windshield are not suspicious to the cops at all. Watson's on lockdown to for the nerdist. Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am! Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? Uh-huh. Gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean... I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. She's giving me a chance. Wait. Mm, that's a okay. shame. No model citizen, maybe, but he's a good kid. Let them through. But they're the last. Okay. On your way. That one crashed. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. Little property damage. It's a little... <laughs> the, the back, uh, bumper. How rude is it to have the radio on full blast when the cops talk to you? So you can be nice when you feel it. What am I not nice? Um, always. I'm always never not nice. Very annoying song on the radio. I am sorry, I can't change it. And it's completely random. So this is the game explaining the mechanic of if you get a wanted level and the cops randomly spawn in, it's because they were airdropped when you weren't looking. It's really stupid how they handle that, but... Made it. Almost at your place. What about you? Not likely to make it back to Hayward. Kill me? They'll let me through. 
Sure about that? Oh yeah. Awfully nice guy. What a nice advertisement. Well, that was a glitch. We went through the top of the car for a second. By the way, for those that are playing, there are components right here. But we already have a save file, so I just wanted to show you guys. You know, just explore everywhere because there's items. So that changes the channel every time that you go up the elevator. Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zip in your deets. Please be to me, our father. And our second guest is Karina Lee, host of the Chip End program, which promotes the use of cybernetic internet. Love treating you, beautiful. All right, so this is the part where we enter the apartment. At this point, if you have uh, the pre-order stuff, you can go in here and go ahead and equip all of it. There's also lots of items and consumables around that you can pick up as well. You can uh, play around with the shower, the mirror, which doesn't do anything in the computer, which you gain nothing from. It doesn't matter if you do these things. You can watch the television. Uh, you can even open the windows. You can't climb out of them, though. Later, you can get a cat and put it in this corner. And you can also listen to the radio. So there's lots of stuff to do in the apartment, but none of it really honestly matters. Also, this is the weirdest way to sleep in a bed. Is, uh... Is this, like, hot dog style? Like, legs, like, <laughs> hanging off the sides? It's really awkward. This would really hurt your ankles and shins. Alright, so now this is the part where we load our actual game after this dialogue. Whoa, V? Look at your beauty sleep? <laughs> no matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something when I jacked into that Corpo's Biomon. I don't know, a neurovirus or. I need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling and my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Throw some threads and meet me downstairs. Alright, so this is the point where we will end the video, but I do want to show you a preview. Now, the way I play RPGs in this game, or not in this game, but just RPGs in general, right? As soon as the game lets you roam, free roam, or go into a starter zone to grind mobs, I'd like to just autistically grind mobs for days at a time before I even start playing the game. So this save file is exactly where we are at in the game. 26 hours later. <laughs> but all, And we're level 34. The level cap is 50, by the way. <laughs> I also want to mention that um, I have uh, glitched out of the starter zone because the game locks you down. It's kind of like Grand Theft Auto if you've ever played it. You are not allowed to leave the, the starter zone because... The game will just teleport you backwards, right? But with some very clever exploits, we are able to go past the barrier where it teleports us and continue on and go to all of the in-game shops and go to all the secret locations. We can't do all the side missions. I did do all the side missions in the starter zone, and this playthrough will only be uh, the main missions. But I have, on this 26-hour this hour save file where I haven't even started the actual game yet. Uh, I'm going to show it off, but uh, that will be for another video, for another time. The character that we will be playing will be a quick hack expert who uh, specializes in stealth and crit and will use assault rifles and pistols as their main offensive. 
All right, so here's what our character looks. Well, hold on. Here's what our character looks like. Uh, we're gonna we're just gonna take all the clothing off. So black hair, blue eyes. <laughs> Why is it glitchy? Is it? There we go. Kind of looks like a little Down syndrome, <laughs> but that's fine. All right, so assault rifles and pistols and knives. The character stats are max intelligence, max cool, which is also your stealth. This is your hacking, and then the rest will go into either crafting, some body, some reflexes, just kind of spread between these three. And here is the world map. So the starter zone is like right around here. You'll notice that all of the yellow, like this is normally covered with side missions. Uh, we, we've got most of the fast travels already, the shop locations, it's all been unlocked. Um, we've also min-maxed our gear. Right? And I, I don't I don't like the hijab, which is, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it was the best armor that I could find uh, without getting the legendaries. Because if you get the legendaries early on, then their stats suck, so you want to you wanna wait and pick them up later. So this is our character right now. It looks kind of goofy, but um, we also have all legendary uh, cyber hacks, which uh, give you passives as, as well. And the game hard caps you at 15 street credit. You cannot get higher than this. The, you can't grind mobs. You can't do anything to get higher than this until you do more of the story, which means we can't go to the shops and get all the in-game uh, cyberwares. Which uh, here's what we here's what we basically have. We have a legendary operating system, which only needs 14, uh, but everything else is, is it's okay. Uh, we are currently immune to poison, we're immune to shock, and we're immune to burn, which, those buff us. <laughs> so, let's see, yeah, poison, shock, and burn, which is the three elements in the game, we're, <laughs> can't hurt us. We have thousands of armor, very high crit, very high damage, and a, and a decent amount of health for a hack character. Uh, usually in-game characters have about 700 plus health. So, anyway, that's the character that we will be playing. And you may be thinking, well, that just ruins the fun. That ruins the challenge. This game is not challenging. Even as a level 1 character, it it's not challenging. The reason I've done this is so that we can have more fun with the game. So nothing can stop us. Nine, 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 nine. Also, we're going to be using lots of little exploits. Like, uh, s traveling very quickly. Like... Let me show you. So we can just jump across here, which is not something you're supposed to be able to do. And uh, the comps are mad, so we can just kill them. Anyway, that's the playthrough. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, let me know if you want to see the next one. This is a Let's Play series. Uh, max graphics, normal difficulty. We can do very hard with this build. It's fine. It just makes them kill you in one hit and they have more health. That's all it is. I'm Swole Bidgey, thanks for watching, be a bro, stay swole, make sure you return your shopping carts, check out the Discord, check out the links in the description if you feel like donating, I really do appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you in the next one.